What is going on everybody and welcome back to Mad Detailing. Today's video is on a 2017 Toyota Tacoma and this truck was a repossession so I'm not sure the full backstory on it but it is absolutely trashed inside and out. The carpet has an insane amount of sand on it and the panels are covered in a thick layer of dirt and grime and the seats have some pretty crazy grease stains on them but moving on to the outside it really doesn't get any better. I'm not sure if they kept an engine back here but the amount of motor oil that was stuck onto the bed of this truck is crazy but as you guys know here at mad detailing we're gonna make this truck look absolutely brand new again so if you guys are new to this channel make sure you guys like and subscribe i post brand new videos every thursday at 12 p.m eastern standard time with that being said we're gonna go ahead and roll these before shots and get right into this disaster detail So starting off this detail with cleaning the nightmare of a bed, I'm using the pressure washer to loosen up all this motor oil covered dirt which went all over me and was not fun at all. And then I will spray the entire bed down with our extreme APC, give it a nice scrubbing with a broom. I will get it pressure washed off and I'll have to repeat that process two times because there's just a thick amount of grease on this. And if you guys have ever tried to clean a, a greasy bed, it is not fun at all. All right, guys, I'm here to give you a shop update. As you guys know, we were doing a full shop build out and well, things came to a pretty big halt because everything was approved and then it wasn't approved. So yeah, $20,000 later and we don't have drains in the shop. So pretty much where it stands right now is I just decided to, you know, I'm not gonna deal with none of this. So I just went ahead and just took the L on the $20,000. Um, I had the concrete report back to factory and um, I actually just put an offer in for some commercial property. So I'm just gonna buy property, build my own shop, do it how I want it and just, I'm honestly done dealing with this. This is the absolute longest I've gone without detailing car. It's been like, I don't even know. It feels like an eternity and I'm like super bored and I just wanna go back to making videos again. So hopefully, this concrete will be dry within the next seven days and we can start filming again. Once again, I just want to apologize to everyone that we haven't been posting, but literally we can't. I'm not going to film these videos outside. I, I cannot bring anything um, inside the shop. If you guys watched the previous video, I showed like how bad it is. Like we tore up the entire floor to put this big custom drain in here. I even paid the deposit for epoxy flooring, which that was like another, I think it was like 10 grand. So I'm like 30 grand deep into something that's, it's never going to become any, anything so anyways i just want to apologize that you guys have already watched this video but i did re-edit it and left a lot of the asmr in there so hope you guys enjoy but yeah we're gonna be back soon i promise but either way i hope you guys enjoy this video and thank you all for the support
we are cleaning the wheels, I'm using my Extreme APC on the tires and fender wells. And for the wheels, I'm using my Mad Detailing Acid along with multiple different brushes so I can make sure I get every inch of this wheel and tire 100% clean. Should have told me I was in the splash zone in Aquatica. I try to block it, block a lot of it.
Before I can move on to any type of contact wash, I need to pre-rinse the entire truck. And for this, I'm using our Extreme APC Diluted 10 to 1. You can either use an, a diluted APC or you can use some type of snow foam. But if you're working on a dirty truck or car that hasn't been washed in a very long time, the APC is gonna do a much thorough of a job and it's gonna leave behind the least amount of dirt residue. Moving on to actually washing this truck, I'm foaming the entire vehicle down with our foam cannon and our mad detailing super blue soap. And then I'll give this truck a nice hand wash with a soft microfiber wash mitt.
So I get a lot of comments, people asking how to remove water spots, and it's gonna be the same method for paint and windows. I simply spray on our matte detailing acid after the vehicle is washed and while it's still wet. Then I use a wash mitt and pretty much wipe it all in. I let it sit for a couple seconds and then simply spray it off and the water spots are 100% gone. I've used almost every single water spot remover on the market and nothing has ever came close to our matte detailing acid. So if you guys have some extreme water spots on your paint or windows, whether it's on your vehicle or your glass shower, I would highly recommend giving our matte acid a shot because it's an extremely versatile product that you can use on wheels. You can use it on, you know, your underneath of your truck to get off all that rust and staining. You can use it on water spots. You can use it on pretty much everything. Moving on to cleaning the interior, I'm first giving this carpet a nice pre-vacuum. amount of sand is just, it, it's incredible, honestly. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. But yeah, and then we're gonna go ahead and get the carpet pulled out of this truck, and that's gonna make it easier to clean later on in the video.
Moving on to the seat extraction, I'm using my Extreme APC as a cleaner followed by Milwaukee drill with a drill brush attachment. And for the extractor, I'm using my Mighty HP60 hot water extractor.
already clayed the truck at the very beginning when I washed it. I can go ahead and start polishing it. And for this, I'm using our Rupes 21 polisher, a medium cut polishing pad in HD speed. Honestly, I think this truck has never been washed, so there was really not much defects. So there was some light swirls and scratches, but other than that, the paint really didn't need much. So yeah, this isn't gonna be a full correction, but this, but this is going to bring back a lot of gloss to the panels, and it's gonna leave behind a nice protection. I'm <laughs> sorry. 